Hello everyone and welcome back to acting. This week, what we are going to do is you are going to present your scenes for the first time to the class. Now you're going to be graded on two things this week. You're going to be graded on your memorization skills, how well you've memorized, and two, how fearless you can be. But what are you going to do? Well, we're going to go over that. So let's get started. What you're going to do first this week is you're going to sit down with your partner and if you're at home and you're uploading this, you're going to have to record it and do it. If you're in Zoom or in person, you're going to do this in front of us. And if you're at home with a monologue, you're just going to be doing this to the camera. But what you're going to do is you're going to sit down and you are going to do a speed through. A speed through is where you say your lines as fast as you can without stumbling or stuttering or losing your place. So what you need to do is sit down and run your lines as fast as possible. This is going to show us that you know your lines and that you've memorized and it's going to help us get it out of the way quickly because we care but not that much. If you don't know your lines, you can't act, right? That's like walking up to a sprinter who's run a race and you go, how did you breathe all those breaths? Uh, cause I had to, if I didn't, I, I'd die, right? If you don't know your lines, you wouldn't be able to do the scene at all. So the speed through is going to show us that you know your lines. The second part is to see how fearless you can be. And this is the fun part. So what you're going to do is I have a list of things, but you can feel free to add to this list. And if you're performing it for me, I'm going to call them out. But if you're at home, you need to find somebody and you're going to hand them the list and their job is to interrupt you and call these things out as many times as you can. Your job is to run through your speeches, run through your monologue or run through your scenes. But as soon as a new suggestion is thrown out, you have to continue your lines, but change them and incorporate that person's suggestion, but go all out. So if you start off and you are running them normal and someone goes, Sing it like an opera singer. Well, now you have to continue your lines as though you were singing in an opera. And if they go rap it, now you have to rap it. Sing it like you're a rock star. Say dude every four seconds. Pick a fight. Two heart surgeons working on a patient. Say it like you're a surfer. Two kittens playing with a ball. Treat it like it's a love story. It doesn't matter if you say, if the line is, I hate your guts and I hope you die. You have to say that like you love that person. Any scenario that's thrown at you, your job is to not think, to not get self-conscious, to go, yes, take it and change your line. No, don't change your lines, I'm sorry. Is to take that suggestion and then use it to be free with the lines and show us how they can work. You want somebody throwing out as many scenarios as possible. What this is going to do is often when we memorize, we get stuck in these patterns and the way it should be said. But you're never going to be good if you're stuck in one way of saying something. Often when we learn lines, it takes us a while for us to stop seeing the lines and the words in our head when we're saying them. But you're never going to be acting until you are there seeing the person in front of you and saying those words with the meaning and feeling that your character was feeling. This helps you get out of your head and into your body and into your soul. And it does it by breaking up all of those patterns that you've learned in memorizing your lines. So what you want is to do this scene, to do this monologue as many ways as possible so that you become free, so that you stop seeing the words in your head and so that you start seeing the actor and the character in front of you. And then you can start really doing some great work. All right, everyone, what you're going to do is if this is in class, I'll see it. But if you're uploading it, you're going to upload your video and then we're all going to comment on each other's videos. We're going to see. Now, remember, everyone always needs to know what they're doing better or what they're doing well more than they need to know what to improve on. So always be starting to focus and fixate on what that person did that was good because then they know what to keep, right? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Positive reinforcement is how we get people to want to grow. So make sure that you're positive with the comments. 
All right, everyone. I can't wait to see your videos and to see your work. And I'll see you soon.